Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Oxenfree. I do apologize for the lack of commentary in the previous video. I don't know what happened to my uh, recording of it, but it was definitely gone. So I hope it was still entertaining even without my ridiculous banter and commentary and all that good stuff. So I, I do apologize. Um, th that's not a way we can go. All right, let's just head back this way. So yeah, again, I, I think the game's dialogue heavy enough um, that there, there wasn't a lot of time for me to miss out on, I'm sure. But, what is happening? Oh, should we have gone to the basement first? Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. Oh, Ren. Leave him be. Alright, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's, that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See, it says when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the um call part, you and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. Done. Sold. Okay. Use the response station to open bomb shelter. Will do. Come on, right. Jonas. Break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No. Okay, good. Well, at least in the previous video, folks, I'm glad I didn't lose any footage. But uh, still, I would have liked to have the commentary playing, but hey ho. Anyway. We cannot cry over such a thing, can we? So, Jonas and I are going to the woods. That's where we initially uh, saved Ren from his possessed weird state. Uh, not not caused by the, uh, you know, the whole brownie situation. Guys, can you really not decide who's going to go for... Okay. Yeah, there you go. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's go. Okay, back to the woods then. So Jonas and I are going to be on our way. Uh, oh. Oh. Whoa! No. Ren? Alex. Alex, okay. Are you... Are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. Oh. I did? 
You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. Oh, it only lasted so like a creepy. minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. Okay. If you insist, Jonas. Clearly you're an expert on these types of things, so I will just trust you. I guess. Okay, so the long trek back. I'll spare you uh, some of the, the, the dull walking, folks. Unless some amazing music happens, or... Uh, oh, there's the bomb shelter right there. Huh. Um, yeah, unless something exciting happens or some good dialogue comes on, I will just edit it out. So we'll talk to you soon, folks. Oh my, look at the statue. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> hey. Hey. That's neat. That is really neat. Okay, anyway. <laughs> And yeah, I've absolutely missed some rock formations, I'm almost certain. Well, I'm absolutely certain, because there's still that many left. You know what time it is? It's 4 a.m. Says so right on the it's screen. It's 4 in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? To be fair here, I really only understood, like, six, uh, twelfths of the whole scheme, so... Six twelfths. Well, that's better than me. I just kinda wish that I felt like these ghosts were just a little concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like, they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Yeah, well, you know who else was confident? Hitler. And look how he ended up. Dead. With syphilis. Oh, true. Also, one testicle. I think this, um, stuff is getting pulled in from, like, their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. I don't know if he actually only had one testicle. I heard that somewhere. Uh, okay. So, weird stuff. There's a desk over there. That's fun. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and descend. Oh, wait. Actually, is this where we jump across? Jonas! Oh. Oh, God. You're so much more painful than my own. Okay. I remember this part. And yes, I do remember there being a building in the woods that, uh, had one of those symbols on the door. There's also one at the uh, Milner outpost. I'm pretty sure. Is that a formation that I didn't see before? Is it? I'm going to go check. Talk amongst yourselves. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Wow. Okay. Park Ranger hanged himself. That's great news. Come on, Jonas. Let's never come this way again. Or ever, never, never listen to that ever, because that's real disturbing. Real disturbing. Or just stay there. That's fine, too. Weirdo. Okay. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. You and me both, brother. Well, stepbrother. I'm sure. Oh my god. That was quite a drop, wasn't it? I'm gonna do a quick run back here, folks, to see if I missed any rocks. Bear with me. Okay. I seem to remember. Was it this way that we went into this place and there was a chair waiting for us outside the door? Is that, is that right? Is there anything we can interact with? No. No, not a, not a single thing, in fact. 
There's another rock formation up there I just spotted, but I feel like that's one we might have already got. But I'm going to go check anyway. Be right back, folks. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop-de-loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Uh, was I not going the right way? I'll try again. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that. <laughs> I am also hope that. <laughs> well played. Unless it was this way. Alright, it's gonna be one of those days, is it? That's fine. Let's keep going, Jonas. Oh my god, why? All right, I'm gonna go down then. That's the way you want to be. I'm go. Oh Ren. no! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's he had an accident. He he died. What? I couldn't. What? Oh my God, Ren! I, I can't believe this. What happened? He he drowned. He. Took a fall. Oh, oh! I don't know. He just, he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done in this case is particularly done. No, you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And Closing the tear in the cave might work. You, you don't know that for sure. We do know that for sure. We've seen others try, we've seen you try. So pay attention. It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Renjin over here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the- No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? We're getting out of here. All of us. Run too. <laughs> okay. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. Oh. That is so disturbing. Jesus. Okay. There's the thing here. Oh, there's Nona. Nona? I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what happened. One minute he was there and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so... If he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but... I hope he knew that I liked him. Aww. Aww. And I don't know if he did. He hoped you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. Oh, she did like him. And he liked her. Oh, that's so nice. All right, that. And this old thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh, God, that was... My mouth feels like I just... 
ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make like a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but I don't know. I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Ah! That's a fair point. Anyone there? What? Are they... Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? They're going Anybody? alive! <gasps> that's Jonas? all I care about. God. Jonas? Yeah, Punch out that's, a, that's a bonus, too. Okay. Seriously, right in the throat. <laughs> Jonas, don't listen. Shut up, Ren. <laughs> We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Calm down. Okay. We are... Actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasting away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was the... It was psychotic to watch. Like, ah. almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like... It was high, believe me. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. Did you guys she wrap this fine. up? It's true. <laughs> Shut up. You guys. Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Yeah. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Guys. Over now. Can you Can you wrap this up? Are we good? Are we are we good now? Okay, right. good. Radio locked. I keep forgetting this thing is that. Okay, I just have to tune it. I'm on this. I'm on this, Jonas. Here it comes. Hey, good. Hello? Pick up. Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Everyone just shut up. You can play dress up phone time when you get home. We got work to do. <laughs> All right, Mr. No Fun. <laughs> Dress up no phone fun. time. What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. It's stunning. The wit on display. Send the call. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and now. Close the time hole and save the day. Okay, we will. We absolutely will, but there's still another thing to open, right? There's a thing at Ford Milner that we have to open. There's another door there, right? It's, it's absolutely a thing. Trust me. Trust me. We're going to go do that. We're not going to get out of this that easily, Jonas. You, you hat, you hat wearing fellow you. I, I don't know. That one just actually kind of got away from me. I didn't really have anything prepared for it, but hey ho. So. Now, how in blazes do we actually get to Fort Milner? Do we have to go up? Hang on, let's look. Relay point. Do we have to go up? Through the woods? Yeah, I think we do. We have to go across there and then up to relay point. Right? And then up to... Well, I'm going to go do that. Um, bear with me, folks. And yeah, I definitely have not been looking for more letters from Maggie Adler. So I can't help but feel like I'm going to miss a whole bunch of those. Go to campground. Come on, Jonas, for heaven's sake. Okay, okay, I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. 
But I'm... I think, um... It's getting worse, Jonas. The sun's coming up soon. I think we're running out of time. Yeah. Um... Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just... Like, how do I say this? Cause... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever, senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. Oh. I'm just glad we met. Oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Absolutely. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no, you don't have to put it like, it would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> All right. Uh, there was nothing up at the top there, was there? I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna check real quick. Ah! Oh, Maggie thought that the way the ghosts can talk to us and vice versa is waves. Interesting. I really wish I knew where to check for all these, because I've definitely... Because there wasn't even a prompt there, was there? I feel like the first one had like a little shiny, kind of like classic Resident Evil shiny uh, on the ground. But that one, I didn't see anything. I just, I happened to just check there for funsies and there was a thing, but that was completely a fluke. So, I am a little concerned that we're going to miss some stuff, which makes me sad. But, maybe I'll just do another playthrough after, I don't know. Uh, what's up here? Oh, there could be another letter up here, right? It seems... It seems like a random spot. Could be a th Yeah, there's nothing there. Not a single thing. That's okay. Got that anomaly already. Oh, listen to that music. That just kicked in. That's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. Multiple ways to go that I'll probably miss something in. This looks like there's gotta be a letter here, right? Yes, they, okay. Um, Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave. Ooh. Uh, we set to tune into the source of the temporal tear and spoke, albeit briefly, to Henry Griffin. Uh, Sergeant who down in the sub with the power over one, my dear Anna, and she was warmed. Uh, she was absorbed into its ridge. All that remains is there now is a flickering cube, a partially open gate, a window to a. A perpendicular space that seems to have augmented the submarine's... Submarine's? <laughs> call. But of all my regrets, perhaps the deepest is knowing Anna's last vision was of me fleeing from her in terror. Oh, that's kind of sad. That's really sad, actually. Good lord. So we're definitely supposed to be, like, exploring around then, right? Like, it makes sense that we're not going straight to the, uh, to the designated area. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I feel much better about it then. <laughs> now let me know, folks, if you see any shinies on the ground. I won't be able to do anything because I'm recording this ahead of time, but still, just let me know. In the comments. I don't know how foolish I was. Okay, nothing there. That's where a big portal was, though, when we had that interaction with Ren. Let's see. Anything in here? Letters? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Well, good, good. Okay, I'm just gonna check down here, because we didn't... Oh, actually, I have to go this way. So before I go to the right, I'm just gonna do a little check down here. See if there's any letters. Because it seems like wherever there's a dead end, um, that is where I will find a letter. But we've only got three of them. I don't really know how many to expect, to be honest. Maybe there's... Maybe I'll just check the achievements, how about that? Um, find all the hidden anomalies. Okay, eight. Okay. Ooh. Complete the story, make enemies with all your friends, slap Ren in the face, and some secret achievements. Okay. So let's head this way now. I'm so goddamn intrigued. This game is great. It's, it's nice to have this, like, right after, uh... Uh, right after playing Firewatch, which is also a great game, and then I have this as well. It's it's neat. It's nice to have a, a slew of good games. Slew? Is that the word I wanted to use there? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... 
Did this open before, or was this locked? It was definitely locked. Okay. Sort of reach red old areas, folks. It just seems like it's it's kind of encouraging it, so... Don't want to miss out on anything, right? Okay, so that is the way we want to go. To the right, so I'm just gonna check down here. There's that message from Nona to Clarissa. There's gotta be some letters down here, right? It's gotta be. Okay. Oh, let me check up here. Oh, actually, there's one right here. Adler. Um, the communication school here taught them how to make codes. I was assigned code making, specifically ciphers, with which to conceal projects from even uh, other government agencies. It was a job I grew increasingly uncomfortable with, but my keen interest in radio science had me pulling double duty as a comms officer. I remember one of the uh, Canelo's engineers, Francis, calling me a radio woman. As far as he knew, it was my only job. Okay. Nope. Oh, head back down, Jonas. Or come up. That's fine, too. I'm glad that time doesn't really appear to be uh, progressing. Which is good while I search around, because it seems like time is limited, so. U.S. Army RCs. I guess I do have to go that way at some point, don't I? But was there anything else over here? Any letters? Because I am super intrigued by those, but I don't see any there. So I'm just going to run back up to that one door, because I don't actually remember what it was. Bear with me a moment, folks. Okay, let's check there. Sure. Okay, I definitely feel like there was a door in here that I couldn't open before. I def- is that it? Oh, that's it. Look at that. Okay. Okay. We got this. What awaits us? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is exciting. This is off the beaten path. We've got... What have we got? Oh, there's a rock formation there, okay. It's inside! Fantastic! Yay! Something keeps touching my leg in the water and I don't know what it is. Can we just go into the cave now? No, sure, sure. I, I just want you to have a good time. Wait, this... I think there's something down there. Jason, there's... Don't trip. There's a... Jason? Abel Niner. Something keeps touching my... Oh, that is interesting and creepy simultaneously. All right, folks. Well, that is going to just about do it for this video, I think. I'm going to keep searching around in the next video to see if there's any other things to uncover there. Because it is just super interesting. Anyway. Thank you very much for joining me, folks, for another episode of Let's P oh, What was out this door? Oh, no, the U.S. Army, right? We don't have to go there. Um, actually, I might as well just check up on this level to see if there's any letters that we missed, right? Like fools. Let's see. Creepy mirror again. Don't need that. Uh, nothing there. You have to have a keen eye now, because those little shinies are not very prominent. And it's clear that there's, like, a whole bunch of them to find still, so I don't know. Okay, well, that was not very fulfilling. So, folks, I am going to end this video, and in the next video, like I said, we will keep searching around and hopefully, hopefully find all the collectibles. I'm, I'll be kind of sad if we don't, but again, I might have to just do an achievement run later on if we don't, because this run is all about the story. So... Thank you very much for joining me, folks, for another episode of Let's Play Oxen Free. I am Lock Lackey, and I shall see you next time. Take care.